Hey Leos, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages we have for you. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I uh, told you guys I'm between England and Paris and I don't have my stand. Um, and I keep knocking the small stand, so we're going with a face on uh, to get more readings out there. Uh, so let's see what we have for our Leos. Attraction, okay, of course, of course, my beautiful Leos, you're attracting in uh, people here. Um, reverse keep an open mind and passion reversed here uh, i told you guys in the main reading um for cancer season it's already posted uh that passion might be a little bit lacking until around the 13th of july um but so if you're feeling you know underwhelmed at the moment and not really interested people are still being attracted towards you even if you're not interested um so you, you can't help them. You can't blame them. Leos are absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I guess at this time you might just, you know, have that not really interested in people. You're not really passionate or open to new offers just yet, but you're attracting offers in. Let's see. Seven of Swords. You're not attracting a lighter, are you? That's why I don't do face on readings. Uh, my face always goes... <laughs> So yeah, if you are thinking um, or feeling a little bit of low self-esteem with the Seven of Swords there, um, if you're feeling a little bit tired, drained mentally because the Swords are about thoughts and speech, so it can be a little bit, you know, with the passion down, there's a lack of earth energy going on so you can feel, you know, like you have, there's nobody around to depend on, you know, there's nowhere for your passion to go. Don't worry, because it will be changing. Five of Cups as well now. Um, it's this emotional roller coaster, isn't it, of cancer season, especially for you guys. Um, you have a huge heart. <laughs> you might try to hide it, but you do. So you might feel like you're missing somebody or missing out on some things at this time. But it's not the case. It's coming. OK, Ten of Swords, things will get better. It's like, um, you know darkest before dawn uh the quiet before the storm you know that sort of thing it seems like it's quiet now on the love front for you guys but it's just about to take off you're attracting a lot in so do be careful about this energy as well um sevens and fives are quite challenging energy they're about change so there is a beautiful change coming the five of uh, the ten of swords indicates um finding a way after you know traumatic events that's why we see in general readings that it is the worst betrayal it's backstabbing and things like that which we can say that somebody who cheated on you now misses you they've now had a change of heart here um, and they're now being attracted towards you and you may no longer feel that same passion or excitement about them don't shoot the messenger <laughs> um yeah Ten of Cups, for you, it feels like, um, songs coming to mind here, um, I forgot who's singing, but it's The Love I Lost, and it's like, I remember planning, building my whole world around you, so that one time you did feel this amount of love for them, and you know, everything, and you was in love, and you was planning, and you thought it was forever, um, and then we got to the Five of Cups, where we're missing each other, but it's, the end of a cycle you put the work in you was betrayed you was backstabbed and now the love and the passion seems to be fading away for this person um in in your feelings but in their feelings they're coming back here yeah they're coming back so the tower first was the t uh, finding out the cheating the betrayal um and now it's the surprise is them coming back them telling you I feel like this when you no longer feel like that. Your passion, your love for them is gone. Um, some of you, it might be you that still has this passion and love for them. It is a general and we do have cross watchers. So your love for them might still be there. It might still be that, you know, you want them, you miss them. Um, and if that's the case, I would say they're not speaking to you. They're still out with the other person doing whatever they're doing. Um, 
queen of wands still out with a mistress or um you know the other guy uh it's quite painful to hear that right um this is either you or them so i feel like take action feel for yourself put this love that you once had for them into yourself right um i feel like most of you are directing your passion your thoughts away from them it may have left you with some sort of issues that need to be healed with the seven of swords uh without a doubt it happens to everybody right um but when mars and as venus like i said 19th of july um, you'll start to feel more like yourself. You'll regain that power back. I think the last video was regaining your throne and here you are on the throne. So don't give your power away to this person if they come back into your life here. Um, for those of you who still want them back and they're not communicating with you, you're handing over your power to them. Um, you're still in their energy, so they're not feeling your absence. So they won't come back when it's like that they'll come back when you change the energy that five of cups there it's about change the high priestess it's about trusting your instincts i feel like at one point you trusted your instincts um you felt like something's going on you ignored it you knew this person is betraying you and you saw the red flags ignored them until the tower came so now when the tower's here um you know it made you go through this transformation these tens are endings of a cycle we really broke down here um this was like the straw that brought the camels back you're like this is the last thing i'm taking from you um i took all the rest of the crap you had to offer and now this um so this really broke you down this was like painful in your soul this betrayal this lies this deception was painful in your soul so the cycle came to an end it broke you down for a reason to rebuild you up stronger a better version of yourself like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger right um so this person will eventually come towards you um but i feel like by the time they do you're not interested um your mind is closed to them because the keep the open mind card is also reversed here nine of swords um if you go back with them, especially if you've gone back with them during the retrograde. Um, I feel like you've got trust issues. And if it's not your intuition telling you they're still cheating, um, it's triggering your trauma. So you still feel like they're cheating, even if they're not. So that will destroy everything anyway. This is unfounded fear or sleepless nights, anxiety created by the lack of trust um by the deception by the ten of swords the knives in your back like just a lack of trust all over for this person so if you really want to rebuild with them you've got to heal because you would just keep going into a cycle where you keep accusing them right and you keep saying even if they're not doing it you would feel that way to deal with somebody with trust issues you've got to have a lot of patience um you've got to learn to trust yourself again if it's you with the trust issues eight of pentacles growth the working on yourself and that's what i was speaking of for those you know we all have to work on ourselves and that's the main goal here um you know not be angry at ourselves but when we get those red flags and you know tell ourselves i knew it i knew they were cheating or lying or whatever it was they're doing um learning to trust ourselves again so rebuilding ourselves up to become a much more stronger person nine of cups so you are heading towards your nine of cups your wishes and your desires and dreams but first it starts here first it starts here working on yourself loving yourself learning to trust yourself i really want to stress that okay um a lot of people say okay i'm learning to love myself again but we need to learn to trust ourselves again when you're rebuilding after a tower you are not the same person so if you're trying to call in somebody from your past you're not the same vibration you're not the same person and this is why it won't work until you've healed this tower moment guys i have a competition running for a 200 pound gift card it's in the community section so go ahead and check that out and i leave information in the description box not in the comments for personal readings good luck guys